So uh, we're here this evening with Ken Goodland, um, and I want to talk to him, ask him a few questions uh, in his role with Castaway Wanderers as the director of rugby. Um, so Ken, thanks for doing this. Um, these questions, uh, I think, are generally fairly broad, so just uh, you know, fill them in as you feel necessary. Uh, first one is just around the junior age grade boys and girls season, which has just finished uh, the BCRU schedule, um, and just any insights into how those programs are doing? Uh, they're, they're doing really, really well. I think this uh, fall season was probably our best to date in terms of um, both numbers and also success on the field. Uh, we've had uh, probably the best showing of any club in terms of junior um, uh, wins and, and championships. We've had three uh, teams in BC Finals, uh, U18 girls, U18 boys, U16 boys, all in BC Finals. Uh, came away with a medal there, fought, uh, well obviously came away with three medals, uh, two silvers and a gold. Um, and and that's, that was really uh, great for those programs and certainly for the, the, the U18 women's program because they were building for a number of years to that and, and it was really a just reward for their hard work. Um, and the junior, uh, sorry, U18 boys certainly the idea that they were able to uh, field two teams sometimes um, and the numbers there were just phenomenal and the numbers overall uh, are just amazing right now for those junior programs. Uh, you know, Byron McAllister and, and Rob Peel running those, running those programs have done a phenomenal job um, in the last couple of years for sure and, and uh, really proud of, of how those guys are, are doing that and really proud of those programs. And, and, and with all of that, and with that success, and things are looking really, really good, um, but you turn your mind to how to make that program and make the junior boys and the junior girls programs better. Um, have some things come up where you think, you know, we could do this a little bit better, or maybe the, the BCRU could do this a little bit better. Any comments on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're always looking to improve. I mean, that's the bottom line. You, you can't sit still. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, resting on your laurels and just think we had a good season and we're just going to be able to do it next year, you know, because we just had a season. Um, you're always looking for ways to improve and that could be anything from, uh, you know, player support. Uh, obviously, we always want to increase our numbers. We're always looking at, at, at doing that in various ways. Uh, one of the key things I think that it was brought up to me certainly in the first half is competition. Um, certainly for our, our, uh, our U18 group, both, both boys and girls. Um, you know, cross straight uh, competition, I think, is, is the way we need to go. Um, you know, we're, we, we are lucky, we're in a very lucky spot at the moment in terms of our numbers and our, and our competitive level. Uh, and I think for us to take another step forward as a group, as a club, um, certainly in the U18 category, we would look at, at, at finding cross straight competition uh, in the new year or in the, in the next season, in, in the fall of 24. Uh, so that's one way we're going to look at it, and, and again, like I said, always looking to increase our numbers. We've got a really great group of U16 graduates coming up to the U18 program. I'm going to be working with the U18 graduates and, and getting them used to men's rugby over the spring. Um, so we're always looking to engage and increase that engagement wherever we can so we keep our, our kids involved and excited about rugby and, you know, obviously uh, continue to be a part of the club. So, um, you know, you can always find ways to improve. As director of rugby, um, you're also looking or overlooking uh, a pretty big CW mini program. Uh, young boys and girls here on a Sunday just packing Windsor Park, running around in CW uniforms and throwing the ball and learning all sorts of skills. Um, can you comment on that? Just sort of, do you see growth year over year? Uh, what, you know, what do you see there currently, but also in, in the future? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's funny, I, as soon as you said that, I, I'm. I'm not taking credit. Uh, I'm sitting here as director of rugby and, and, I, and I help those programs, but um, certainly with the mini program, Rod Frazier has taken on um, an yeah. enormous amount of work and he's done a phenomenal job of, of engagement with the parents. Um, our numbers are still going up, but the other really great side of that is our numbers of volunteers are going up. And that's an amazing sign of, of, of engagement and a really good sign of a good club. Um, that not only are you getting more kids playing, you're also getting parents and you're also getting other uh, volunteers involved to support that. So uh, I don't know the number exactly. It can change. Uh, it changes year to year, of course. And I think we're probably 150 plus 
um, on that mini program side, which is phenomenal. Um, we'll have a second half of that season now. I think it starts next week, uh, goes right into late April, I believe. Um, and there's always room for more. So, you know, sign your kid up and, and, and you know, there'll be a place for them to learn the skills and have fun. It's, it's non-contact. It's a way to just get a ball in their hands and for them to start looking at, at how fun the sport can be. Um, and that's the goal of the mini program, to get them excited as kids about playing a sport that they may not have seen before um, and, and that they can take away and, and, and have fun with and they run and jump on the tackle bags and they run around and they play flag rugby and they do all these fun things. And um, It's a really, really great program right now. Probably, I mean, I'm biased, but it's certainly one of the best in the province. Um, and, and like I said, Rod Frazier himself, he's done a phenomenal job with, with running that group and the volunteers. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one of the best parts of the club for me because we can see that future. And we've, we've seen it most recently in a junior banquet. Uh, we had two guest speakers, Carolyn Crossley and, and uh, Lockie Kratz, uh, that came through our mini program. And now 16, 15, 16, 17 years later, they're playing on the national side and they're, they're speaking at our junior banquet and showing the kids that, um, that it's there for them if they want it. Uh, but, but one of the key messages was really great uh, that they both said in the junior banquet was, um, it's not about whatever you success you can find on the field. It's about growing as a person and building friendships and, and, and understanding that this sport can bring you a lot uh, outside of just that success on the field. And, and that was a message that came through from both of them. And it was really uh, powerful to see that in real time on, on uh, last uh, um, Wednesday night. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great program right now and, and it'll continue to grow for sure. And you're, uh, as a director of rugby, you've, you've got your, your eyes and hands also on the men's senior teams and the women's senior teams. Um, and that sense of um, just camaraderie and fun playing the sport that we love. Um, how, are the, how are the senior women doing? How's their program doing? Would you give some insights for everybody on, on that program? It, it, it's, a, it's really in great shape right now. Um, there was a lot of discussion uh, last year, or sorry, 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 during the summer around uh, what the women's program is going to look like. Um, we decided to uh, sort of sh slightly shift the focus and, and make it more about building the program as opposed to fighting or uh, you know chasing a championship, which a lot of clubs can can kind of get lost in doing. Uh, we wanted to build a program. Katie McNally is doing a wonderful job of doing that right now. She's just had a player meeting a few days ago with 50 players. Um, and, and that's just an amazing uh, thing that she's doing over there with the women's program. Um, and this year, it's about that building of that culture. Uh, we're running a, a, a second and a first side with the hopes that that keeps developing, of course. And next year, we'll run a premier side uh, and a first side as these ladies get through the, like, learning the game as well. And, and some of them are very new to the game. And Katie's doing a great job in, in, in you know, including everybody and, and making sure they get what they need to like we said, you know, fall in love with it and, and keep playing. Um, and from the men's side, again, um, you know, numbers are really up there. We just had a players meeting of about 50 guys as well. And we've probably got another 10 coming um, in, in the next few weeks to, to join us for the second half. So we're really healthy there. Uh, we're gonna be running three teams. Um, we'll have our premiers, of course, in the reserve side, divvies. And we're gonna run a third side for a lot of our young guys that uh, if we go back to the comment I made about the U18 group, a lot of those young kids are going to start working their way into that third side to get used to men's rugby. And I kind of loosely call it a transition academy. I actually don't really like the word academy, but it's sort of a transition team for those kids coming through um, and, and learning how to play men's rugby and getting used to it and all that sort of stuff and keeping them engaged at the club. Same thing. The culture is the same thing all the way through. Uh, and the big message, certainly for me on the men's side, is no matter what team you're playing for, we're all one club. Um, and so, you know, both, both programs, men's and women's programs, are, are quite healthy at the moment. Um, and we really look forward to, to keeping this, these groups engaged and to keep building year after year after year. So I'm uh, pretty happy about the, where they both are at the moment. Ken, as Director of Rugby, thanks for this update and the insight into where we're at. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see how we are, where we're sitting in April and May. Uh, so thanks for your time. It's just great. Thank you.